Greetings again in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We thank God again for you joining us again this morning in our Sunday school hour. We're coming back again this morning in our worship hour at 10 o'clock. We are broadcasting from On the Wall Ministries here in Alvin Vista to Pastor Major H. Gilbert. Uh, pastor of the Piney Hill Baptist Church in Amherst, Virginia. We just thank God for our ministry there. And we thank God for you joining us this morning. I see you already piping in on our Facebook Live page. And we just thank God for those who are tuning in on our conference line. And as I said this morning, uh, your, your pastor is old birthday boy this morning, but we thank God for another year. We thank God for another day. We thank God for every minute that he gives us, and we're going to give him the glory this morning. Hallelujah. Said in Sunday school this morning that God's desire is to have the glory, the attributes, and have the, 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 the right mindset that God has, and then we'll be able to understand this great commission and call that he has upon our life, because people will be able to see the word of God being represented in our lives. We don't want to tell a testimony. We want to be able to live a testimony Amen. so that people will see the goodness of the Lord. So I want to give God all glory and praise and honor this morning for allowing me to see another year. But we are going to come this morning with a little music this morning again from, from Gavin Davis. Uh, he come from uh, our local school here, and, and he's come from uh, our local churches, Ellis Creek, I believe, uh, church there in in, uh, in Nathalie, Virginia, and and we want to just lift up the name of Jesus again and give Him all praise, glory, and honor. So we we're going to have a little music again this morning by Gavin, and then we'll get into what the Word of God has for us this morning. Let us praise Him this morning. Come on now. Thank you. 
We got to hopefully an encouraging word this morning be able to help us to be able to understand that, that God is the uh, omniscient, uh, omnipresent, omnipotent God. Yes, that is. God that sits high but he looks low. Amen. His eyes is on the sparrow. Oh, yeah. And I know he watches, he watches me. So hopefully we'll be able to glean a few points. First Peter, third chapter, verses 8 through 17. Our scripture read this morning. Finally be ye all of one mind, having compassion one of another. Love as brethren. Be pitiful. Be cutters. Not rendering evil for evil and railing for railing, but contrarywise blessing, knowing that ye are thereunto called, that ye should inherit a blessing. For he that will love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips that speak no guile. Let him ensure uh, evil and do good and, and let him seek peace and ensure it. For the eyes of the Lord is over the righteous and his ears are upon the, upon, unto their prayers and the face of the Lord against them that do evil. And who is it that will harm you if ye be followers that which is good? Mm -hmm. But and if ye suffer for righteousness' sake, mm -hmm. happy are ye, mm -hmm. and be not afraid of the terror, neither trouble, but sanctify the Lord God in your hearts, mm -hmm. and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear, mm -hmm. having a good conscience. Uh, that whereas they speak evil of you, as is evildoers, that they may be ashamed that falsely accuse your good conversation in Christ. For it is better, if the will of God be so, that you suffer for well-being than for evil doing. Amen. The word of God has already been blessed. Amen. So, how many of you know this morning that it's past time for the church to, to be watching and checking, checking things out because God has given us every sign and wonder to be able to let us know that the appointed time is near. Amen. You know, in the political and religious arenas and settings around the world and uh, that we're facing today, I, 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 I is adamant that the church would be uh, big, going to watch and to check things out, and especially check ourselves out. Uh, it's all right to check the world out, but 
Hey, the world is watching itself, but they also, their eyes is on us. Yep. We need to check ourselves out to make sure that we are walking according to as God has commanded us to walk. So, mm. so, so what, what, what may seem right isn't right all the time, but we can't uh, uh, go on the first uh, thing that we see. And sometimes we get caught up in uh, looking at things uh, from a different perspective. So don't, don't get caught up in the first thing you see. You know, we, we must be watching the world because uh, sure enough, the world is watching us. Yes. Um, back in the day, old Sly and the Family Stone used to have this old song said, pretty, pretty, pretty as a picture, with it, with it, with it as you can be. Blind cause your eyes see only good, cause close to the things that it may set you free. Even stop to think of the downfall happens at the end of every time. Just to you to think that you pull a fast one happens to the foolish all the time. <laughs> Somebody's what? Watching, watching you, eh? Yeah. Huh? So somebody's watching you. So every yeah. Christian must understand that the world is watching yes, each and every move that we make and, and seeing whether or not our faith is genuine mm -hmm. the way that it's supposed to be mm -hmm. or are we just trying to fool somebody Come see on. so we got some church folk that's genuine yeah. but we got, we got some foolers that's in the church trying to fool folk but how many you know this morning you cannot fool God Come huh? On. Now, this is the constant battle that we have in, in our flesh that Paul was talking about that, that, that we have to make sure Sure that our name represents what God, his attitude or attributes that God has for us. You know, that's a constant battle that we're in each and every day. A battle to represent God in everything we do and, and to allow the influences of the world to cause us to act out of character sometime. And, and, and many of us have fallen into the, to the same trap that we get caught up into acting and doing church so much until we fail to be the church that God has called us to be. It's good to act church, but you need to be the church so that we can be able to be able to be effective in reaching those. And we said in Sunday school this morning, when the world sees us and the way we act, the way we carry ourselves speaks more loudly than the words that will come out of our mouth. So we got to be that church. So this morning, this morning, I want to be able to talk to you on the subject of who's zooming who or, or who's watching you. I just want to speak in a language that some of us can understand. Who's watching you? So let us bow. Father God, we do thank you, Lord, again for this day. We thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to come. And as we come, Lord, we ask that you would allow your Holy Spirit to come right now. Lord, touch your dear servant. Mm -hmm. Touch my lips that I may be able to speak boldly those things that you have laid upon my heart. Lord, just sanctify me now. Touch me. Yeah. Cover yeah. me with the blood of Jesus. Yeah. Right now, yeah. cleanse me from all of my unrighteousness. Oh, yeah. Give me a heart like thine where I'll be able to speak those things to be able to encourage us to be able to walk accordingly, where the world will be able to see the goodness of the Lord in our lives, and we'll be able to have a testimony where the world will be able to believe that Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Lord, we thank you, Lord, and we praise you. Amen. In the precious name of Jesus, we do pray. Let your heart say amen. 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 We thank God for this morning. We do have uh, our, our associate ministers in the house this morning. We have our wife in the house this morning. On, on our birthday Sunday, we, we praise God for them being here where we can I, need an amen every now and then, don't you? Yeah. We need an amen every now and then. So who's Zooming who? Who is watching who? Uh, it was back in the uh, studio days when Lisa Franklin was there and, and her father had died. And, you know, and, 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 and her father had died and she had not recorded anything for a long time. And her manager there, uh, Narado Michael Walden, he, he, he came in and he asked her what was the issue with it. And she was telling her that, that her father had passed and, 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 and uh, C.L. Franklin Pastor C.L. Franklin had passed, and, 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 and she said that, that, that all of her attitude was about everything that she did. She always got charged into her music recordings, and, and, and she was such a lyricist. She wrote songs that meant things to her. And she was elegant and beautiful, and she had streetness and hipness. And, and, and then she was wise at, at the same time, and she was able to distort out in her music things that would be able to help people through their situation yeah. wherever they was in. And she said that you would go out into the nightclubs or go out into the street at night, and, and you thought you were all cool and everything. 
everything. And, and all of a sudden, uh, that, that you would go out and try to, uh, uh, to talk your talk and, and to walk your walk. You know how it is when we were out in the street. You talk your talk and you walk your walk. And then all of a sudden, they'd ask the question, who's zooming who? Uh, who zooming who? Mean okay. who you checking out? Nice. You know, and, and some of the times you thought you were checking out somebody else, but really somebody else was what checking you out. And yeah. you need to be understanding about that. So those things that we have in life, we have to realize that somebody always checking us out. Amen. Somebody is zooming you. Yeah. And zooming yeah. means that you're, you're zooming in. Somebody is taking a close look at your life to see whether or not you're walking according Man, to what preacher. God uh, represents in your life. We need to be God's representatives yeah. and, and yeah. people are zooming in on us just to make sure that we are walking accordingly. Yeah. So we got to be concerned about that. So zooming in means that we're checking things out. We're scoping things out. Is that what we used to say back in the day? Yeah, we scoping yeah. things out. So the title says, who's zooming who? Means that who's checking us out. Who's scoping us out? And we need to understand that the world is looking right now. Yes, Seeing, yes. we said in Sunday school, is the church relevant yes. in this time and age where we're yes. in? They look at the church and they see us all divided in denominations and groups and, and factions and everything. And they're checking us out and they're saying that the church is not what it should be because uh -huh. we're not representing the will and the attitude and the purpose that God has for us in our lives. Yeah, so we sure. should be uh, doing our father's business. And, and if we would just stick to the word of God. Stick to that word of God, and that's relevant all by itself. Amen. You don't need to add nor take away anything from the word of God if you preach the word of God in season and out of season. Yes. So we need to be able to understand that the world is looking. Yes, they are. Seeing whether or not that we're going to stay on point. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what we need to be concerned about. The world is wondering whether or not that we're on point or not. Or are we just playing church? Come on. Uh, I, I, I see even during, I, I apologize, but I, I see uh, even during the pandemic, uh, many are, are trying to deal with anniversaries and programs rather than just preaching the word of God. Yeah, we shouldn't be concerned about our anniversary. Yeah. We should be concerned about a program. Come we on. need to be about our father's business doing the work of spreading the gospel around the world and, and, and instead of drowning and get caught up into ourselves, yeah. we should be caught up into the word of God because right. God is looking. So yeah. I ask the question again, who's zooming who? I, I know you. I got my eyes on God. I, I, I agree with that. Keep your eyes on God. But you got to realize that God got his eyes on, on you. Sad preacher. So back at the time when we were in the clubs, and you remember we used to have the poets. Used to come around and y'all old, y'all young, young, young folk don't know anything about uh -huh. that. But you used to go to the clubs and on Friday night, they used to have the poets would come and, and everybody would get up and do a, a little literary little poetic expression of themselves and, 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 and this one guy came up and he was all deep he was all deep and on, he had the poetic justice that was all about him, you could see it in his spirit when he got up to the mic and he came up to the mic that night and, and he got deep and he bowed his head and he looked back in, in authority and he said what is is but what ain't ain't <laughs> took his seat and, 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 and then I and all the crowd was in applauding and give it was so deep of an expression that he had and I and I thought about it. It is real deep, ain't it? Yeah. Because in life what is yeah. and what ain't, ain't. And, and, and in your Christian walk what is yeah. and what ain't, ain't ain't. See see all of those things that we need to be concerned about and, and life is just that simple. Yes. And if you are trying to express yeah. yourself to be a Christian, what is, yeah. is, and what ain't, ain't. So my question is, who's zooming who? Everybody want to see, Pastor John Price used to say, is you is who you say you is. Nice. Uh, I know it's a proper vernacular right now. It's not, that ain't the way we should say it, but you don't understand what I'm saying. Yeah. Is you is who you say you is, and that's all what matters in this expression of our Christian walk that we should be in. Amen. See, see, God is checking us out every day 
to see whether or not that we are walking accordingly. Yeah. He, his sights are uh, in, in right on us. He'll see right through all of your camouflage, all your makeup. Oh, all, uh, oh, I know the people say, oh, I got a makeover. You need a holy makeover. You don't hey. need to get put on more makeup to cover up. Come you on. need the holy makeup that will change you from the inside out. All of your dipping and sliding and clipping and hiding and sliding and gliding and all of that doesn't keep God from what checking you out. Honey, he said you can slip and slide and glide, but you cannot hide. Yeah. And, and on, David asked the question, where can, can I go? Where, uh, where can I go where, uh, where? To, to escape from your spirit? No. He said that wherever shall I plea, flee? To get away from your presence. Yeah, you know, his conclusion was, if I what? In sin in the heaven, thou art thou. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art thou. If I take up wings and, of an eagle and fly in the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, he said, thou shall hand lead me and thy right hand shall hold me. Amen. So wherever you go, Where? God is checking you out, ain't mm he? -hmm. Huh? He's checking you out. You can't go anywhere. Uh, behind his x-ray vision. Uh -huh. uh, you, you thought that Superman had it, but God got what? Yeah, x-ray yeah. vision, ain't it? Yeah. He's an all-seeing and an ever-seeing God that is zooming in to check us out wherever we are, whether we're trying to behave ourselves or in, 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 uh, not. God is looking, ain't it? Yes, he He's is. looking. So as we approach our text this morning, it's the Christian behavior. Mm -hmm. It's a matter that God takes very serious. And, 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 and sometimes we ain't got it, ain't it? No. We ain't got that Christian behavior. And, 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 and we should, what, think serious also about our, what, Christian behavior, ain't yes. it? The eyes of the world are all over us, but it weakens our testimony, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. when, when, when the unsaved, as well as the saved folks, see us walking out of character. And it hurts the church, doesn't it? Yes. And, and it don't hurt you, it hurt all of us, doesn't it? Yeah. All of us are hurt by when we are caught out of character and we are walking against the uh, and contrary to the will of God in our life. Yeah. Paul told the church at Ephesus, he said that, that I therefore, prisoner of the Lord, beseech you to walk worthy of your vocation. Yeah. Ain't it? He, he's telling us to walk worthy. And he said that we shouldn't be like children being what? Tossed to and fro, heard of me why every wind of the doctrine and, and the slight of men and cunning craftiness. Whether there be a lie to wake and deceive, but speaking the truth in love and may grow up in you the things that the head of God or that is uh, that is will fit us jointly together, compacted together, every joint that is supplies according to the effectual working of the measure of God in our life. We need to be able to understand that God is trying to do a work in us. Yes, huh, to be able to make us into what he desires us yes, to be. Huh? Yes. Our new man nature should be able to put off that old man huh, every now and then and walk according to the witness of a true conversion that God has for us in our life. Amen. You know, we, we need to be watchful of this world, huh, but let's not forget that the world has its eyes on us. Huh? And not only does the world have its eyes on us, God has his eyes on us. Thank God. So my question today is who, who zooming, who, 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 who watching, who watching who, huh? So in our text, Peter gives us a warning and some good advice about how we should carry ourselves. He said, finally, and mm -hmm. be all of one mind, having compassion one for another, and, and love as brother, and be pitiful, be cutters, and, and never... Uh, redeem, redeem, rendering evil for evil and uh, railing for railing, but, but contrary wise, blessing, knowing that ye therefore are called that ye should inherit a blessing. Mm -hmm. For he that will love life and see good days, mm -hmm. let him refrain his tongue from evil, let his lips uh, that speak no guile, let him ensure, evil, ensure no evil and, and, and do good, and let him what? Seek peace and ensure it. See, I, I, I preach to you about when passion causes tension. Huh? Tension will come in any relationship when, 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 when that relationship is not operating in love. If it's not operating in love, that going to come some what? Tension in your relationship. Yes. Yes. Uh, we, we told you that, that you need to do a do-over. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times we got to have a do-over. So you need to shut up sometime and what? And yeah. listen, ain't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. And, and pause and take a deep breath. 
before you lip say something that your heart and, and your body and your mind just don't want you to say sometimes. Yeah, so true. then look at that situation out of other folks' eyes. I, I, and when you start looking at things out of other folks' eyes from a different perspective, maybe you shouldn't have said what you said. And All so right. you got to evaluate yourself and carry you through this little exercise so that you can be able to say things that is in accordance to the character of God. Because you can get out of character. We told you you need to do it. Have that do-over. So Peter is telling us to have similar advice. He says, get on one accord. Yeah. Get on one accord. Be compassionate huh, to, to one another. And show some concern for somebody else rather than yourself. Don't retaliate every time somebody comes against you. Yeah. But instead, treat them with kindness. Yeah. And then God yeah. will bless you. Ain't that what the word said? Huh? The, the song said, if you want to be happy for the rest of your life, don't get a... I ain't saying that. Don't even say but that. what I'm saying is, y'all know what I'm talking about. If you want to be happy for the rest of your life, stop saying cruel things about other folk. Ain't it? Yeah, yeah. Huh? Quit telling lies on folk. Huh? Yeah. Look, let me, I'm going to hurt somebody this morning. Don't, don't tell the truth on somebody. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They call that gossip, ain't it? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I know telling lies is bad, but if, if the truth is going to hurt, keep that truth in your mouth. Uh -huh. If you're going to tell it to somebody, tell it to the one that you should be talking to uh -huh. rather than spreading uh -huh. your gossip uh -huh. all around the world. Uh -huh. We think lying is the only way of having some bad talk. You're talking the truth about folk to the hurt, to destroy them rather than to help them. So if you want to be happy for the rest of your life, stop saying those cruel things. Huh? Give it up. Do right and do the things that will bring peace into your harmony, into your life. And now have, have you ever met folk that, that, that want to be mad all the time? Yeah. Bad folk be around, ain't it? Yep. And want to be mad at something all the time. Nothing. Make them happy. Huh? Find fault in everything. Huh? I didn't say everything. I said everything. Find fault in everything. And then rise all the way to church on Sunday morning, all the way from Gladys, all the way up to Slap Creek Road. Won't we even speak to each other in the car. I'm talking about me. I'm talking about me. I ain't talking about nobody else. And, and, and sometimes we need to just turn that stuff loose, ain't it? Huh? Turn it loose sometimes. I'm just saying, huh? Yeah. Do you want to be happy? Or do you want to have something against somebody all the time? All of us have found ourselves in our relationships and certain times we act up character, act like that. But what yeah. you should do is let that stuff low and let God, ain't it? Huh? Peter said that get it together. Huh? And he'll tell you the reason why next in our text. Because God is watching us, ain't it? Yes, he huh? is. And he, you don't think God watching us on that ride up the Slap Creek Road? But God, is he watching? Uh, is he watching? Huh? So uh, who's watching you? Huh? God is watching us all the time. Next, he says that our text says that God's eyes and ears are always on us. Look what he says. Paul says, Peter says what? Peter says, for the eyes of the Lord is over the righteous and the ears are open unto their prayer. But the face of the Lord is against them to do evil. It didn't say that the face of the Lord is against evil people. Because sometimes good people do evil things. Uh, Y'all get it, ain't it? Huh? Y'all got it. He says that God is always what zooming us in and, and he's checking us out. And no matter if you're saved or lost, I'm trying to help somebody, he sees and hears everything you say. Yes, and Jesus does. told us in Matthew 12, 36, he said that, uh, that, that, that every idle word, that you speak, you're going to have to give it an account of on the day of judgment. Right. Mm -hmm. huh? Oh, you didn't think God heard that, huh? Because you said it under your voice. Yeah. huh? Oh, you just said it. We used to remember in school, they told us not to read out loud, but to, to lip read. You read with your eyes, ain't it? Just because you read it with your eyes, you, sometimes you say it with your eyes, ain't it? <laughs> so, even though you said it with your eyes, you didn't think God called it. But he's watching, ain't it? Oh, uh, he understands every word. When, when you're acting out of behavior and that is not in accordance to God's word, you're acting out of character. God understands and he sees that. See, we are held accountable. Uh, the scripture says that every hour of word, you got to be yeah, held accountable yeah, yeah. Uh, let, uh, hey, from the least all the way to the greatest. Huh? We call it a little white lie. Uh -huh. I don't, a lie is a what? 
A lie is a lie. See, we are held accountable for such things. And little sins and little white lies and anything that, uh, that we think are escaping the eyes of other folk, the all seeing eyes of God, ain't it? Mm -hmm. uh, and the all hearing ears of God is on us. His eyes and his ears are open to the righteous. That's what our text says. But yes. his face is turned against those that do evil. evil. Yes, it is. Huh? Mm -hmm. yes, it so is. he's always zooming in, ain't he? Yes, he uh, I ain't talking about standing way back looking. We talking about what? Zooming in. Yeah. See, we wonder why our children sometimes don't ain't, ain't living right. And then they didn't realize that they were zooming. Zooming in. Zooming in, ain't it? Huh? I like that commercial. Where you learn how to do them drugs? And the little kid on the commercial said, you did it. Huh? Didn't realize that when you was operating in the incognito, huh? behind closed doors, and but they zooming in and they yeah. were looking at you and they, they replicate, they, they, they emulate yeah. what, what they yeah. see and what yeah. they see in us. And, and a lot of times, all of that stuff, they got what? They got from us, huh? Yes, Old folks is. used to say that you got to talk to talk, you got to walk to walk. But we must be true in our profession uh, uh, to be effective in our witness into the world that we're in. Yeah. Uh, not only does God's eyes and ears are on us, the world is zooming in. Yeah. Uh, they they want to see us uh, mess up. Yeah. Uh, they want to see if we real or not. Huh? Not. And not only that, God promises to put his arms of protection around us if we walk according to his word. Yeah. Peter asked the question, and who will harm you if we be followers of, uh, of that which is good? Mm -hmm. uh, didn't Paul write, what shall I say to these things if God be what? For us, who can be against us? Yeah. So turn around and ask somebody, who? Who, who watching who, huh? Who uh, when watching we walk in righteousness, God's protective eyes is watching us. But when we walk contrary to his word, he's looking at us again. He's looking at us again. He's looking at us to see whether or not we're going to be real or not. So don't you know that, that you're messing with one of his children? When you start talking about folk? Come on, preacher. Huh? Oh, he ain't saved. He's still a child of God. Amen. Huh? See, your witness has become, you supposed to be the child of God. And now you're talking about them. And then how can you draw them to Christ if yeah. you won't be the one talking about them, putting them down? Huh? When you were down, then God lift you up. That's right. Huh? God, we have the same love for others that God has for us. Huh? That we should have. So, so. Those that do evil, mm -hmm. the question is, who you? Mm -hmm. Huh? Who you? Mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs> Those that scandalize our name, who you? Mm -hmm. Those who despitefully they use, despitefully this, 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 despitefully use us, who, who you? Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. The psalmist who wrote, for his eyes on the what? Sparrow. And I know that he watches you, huh? Uh -huh. Huh? He watching me too, eh? Mm -hmm. But then there's another psalm that says, I trust in Lord wherever I be over the land and over the rolling sea. Yeah. For come what may from day to day, my heavenly Father watches, watches over, over me. Yes. See, God's eyes and ears is always watching over us yes. and Thank those you. that do evil. Huh? So who's zooming who? Huh? Thank who watching? You. Finally, God gives us a, 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 gives us a, 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 is looking for us to live before. Uh, the eyes of the world holding fast our faith and our profession. He, he's looking for us to live in the presence of the world Amen. To, to live according to our profession. Mm -hmm. Our text says that what? But if you suffer for righteousness sake, yeah. happy are ye. Glory. Be not afraid of the terror and neither Glory. be troubled, but sanctify the Lord God Glory. in your hearts. And then be ready always to give an answer to every man that asks you a reason of the hope that is in you with the meekness and fear, having a good conscience, yeah. that whereas you speak evil of you as evil doers, they may be ashamed and falsely yeah. accuse yeah. you of the conversation in Christ. For it's better if the will be uh, if, if the will of God be so that you suffer for well being than for evil doing. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. See yeah. what? When, when we hold fast to our profession of our faith, our testimony, and, and though it may bring some suffering, that we can live with the joy of God, can't it? Huh? Huh? We, we, we don't have to live in fear that God's eyes and ears are on us 
And you know, and, and we don't have to worry about that. See, our testimony will answer all of the haters, won't it? Yes. Huh? Yes. And, and do, do, do y'all hear me this morning? Our testimony will answer all of the haters. Yes. Uh, and, 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 and the thing is, you don't need to try to defend yourself with words. Just walk in the words. Huh? Don't, don't try to defend yourself with words when you're walking in the word. Yes. When you're walking in the word, you don't need to say a whole lot, ain't you? Huh? See, that's the answer. That's the answer enough. That's, you don't need to argue with folk. Don't be caught up in the debate with folk when, or, or, over your Christian walk. Just walk in it and let them walk through the talking. Yes. Huh? But if you have the answer, be meek and lowly about it. Mm -hmm. If you got the answer, be meek and, and lowly about it, knowing that it wasn't you, mm -hmm. but it was God that's in you that guides and protects you. Ain't you Peter says that when you do this, They'll become ashamed, even try to put some charge against you. Huh? I, I can be satisfied in my mind and with a good conscience that I didn't do anything that would cause my testimony to be in question. And when you walk accordingly, huh? And see, that's what's in the Bible, ain't it? That's what the Bible says. He said that it's better for you to deal with some stuff for good than to try to turn to evil as a recourse. Yes, it is. Uh, don't, don't, don't try to be vindictive. And, yes, yes. Uh, don't try to retaliate and, and, and just take it off the cheek. And that's why he said turn the other cheek. Take it off the cheek and go on about your business. Yes. Huh? And, and look, and, and the scripture says that if they won't listen to you, what? Shake that dust off your feet and find you somebody else to witness stuff. Huh? And, and I, I ain't telling you to give up on folk, but the thing is, he said that don't cast your pearls among swine. And, yeah. and, and that means that if people ain't going to listen, ain't going to listen, ain't going to listen, there, there are tons of folk out there that need to hear about Jesus. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, and even folk in your family. After you sown the seed, allow God to give the increase, ain't it? Yeah. You can't browbeat people into loving God. You can't browbeat people into coming to Christ. Once you sow the seed, he said that let God give the increase. Amen. See, God is looking at us, seeing whether or not our profession is true. So who's watching us? Mm -hmm. So as we close, theologian Russell Moore, who is also president of the Ethics and Religious uh, Liberty Commission of the Southern Baptist Conference, he, 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 he said some words last week after the Rogers in, in, June, in January the 6th. He, he said that, and being an increasing number of Americans tell posters that they are not affiliated with any kind of religion. And in the wake of this, the, 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 the president said that he, that, that, that he wants the church to, to take a hard look at their own priorities. And, 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 and he said that, that the biggest threat facing the American church right now is not secularism, but cynicism. Mm -hmm. It's cynicism. See, that's why we should have to recover our credibility and our witness. And, and he says there's one thing that to miss the teachings of your faith. And it, 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 but if people walk away from the church, it, it is because they don't believe that it's really what they say it is. So, so that's the crisis that we're in today. Yeah. He says this is what he feels the legacy of the era of the church is uh, today is that, see, there is an entire generation of people that are growing cynical toward religion. And, and it just means that that, that that something else got to happen in the world. See, what the world saw displayed in, in Washington that the church has got silent on shouldn't be that way. No, right. We should be able to speak up. See, the eyes of the Lord is on us. He's looking for us to say wrong is wrong and right is right. And, and if we are, are, are not speaking the things that God has told us to say and to represent the character and the nature of God, we misrepresent God himself. We are, we are the church. We, we are the church of the living God. And if we cannot be looked at for the truth and to look that for the uh, to tell the world when things are wrong, yes. no wonder people yes. are dis disheartened about the church. You know, so. our beliefs are reflected in our behavior. Uh, when we profess Christ, both within and on the outside of the church, it expects to see some change in our lives. Yeah, you can't be an old man and a, young, and a new man all at the same time. He said, when two, two, two come together, something got to give, ain't something. it? When two things come together, something got to give. Yeah. The old man going to give way to the new man or the new man going to fall back. Into the old man way. See, people that claim to make it a profession for Christ, and yet that that they're, 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 uh, 
their, their uh, uh, character is not representative of, of what they're supposed to change. Amen. That they are uh, is harmful to the body of Christ, especially going to church every day for 40 years. And all of a sudden, your character has not changed to reflect the That's character so of Christ. And you are still going along. And, I, I, and I'm going to say something. I know folks are going to look at me. If Christians quit playing the lottery, There's a good possibility that the lottery will go broke. <laughs> huh? Oh, preacher. I mean, I, I, lottery ain't going to send you to hell, but it represents the character and the nature of God, mm -hmm. the spiritual nature of God. You know, see, the, the worst testimony for the cause of Christ are counterfeit Christians, ain't it? Come on. Uh, in our Baptist church, our covenant, we got it up on the wall. We got it in the front of our hymnal. We engage, therefore, the main family in secret devotion. Religious educate our children. Seek the salvation of kindred and acquaintance to walk circumspectly yeah. in the world yeah. and be just in our dealings, faithful in our engagement, and zipperary in our deportment to avoid tattling. Oh, Lord, we, we got some Christian tablets, ain't it? Huh, backbiting. We got some Christian backbiters, ain't it? Huh, excessive anger. Mad church folk. Huh, we saw a whole generation of D.C. mad church folk walking with a sign killed and the other sign said Jesus saved. Now, how can you have a sign that said kill and another sign said Jesus saved? Mm -hmm. Then abstain from the sale and use of uh, intoxicating beverages and then be zealous in your evidence to advance the kingdom of God. Y'all read that every time we have communion. Don't you understand that God's eyes is on us? He's holding us yes. accountable. So when we said that we walk circumspectly in the world, it refers to our conduct, can eh? yes. Our conduct. Uh, Ephesians 5, 15 says, Seeing then ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, ain't it? Wow. See, in other words, that we conduct ourselves in a manner like Christ. Huh? Circumspect means what? Discreet, upright, diligent, huh? accurate, and careful. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. We need to be careful walking around in this world. Hey yourself. Folk looking at you and, and, and look. And people say, well, I ain't the church. You are the church. Say yeah. preacher. Yeah. When people see you walk uh, contrary to the word of God, you hurt you and the church. The body of Christ is rep misrepresented. Uh, Romans 13, 3, 13 and 14 says, let us walk honestly Amen. in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife, envying, but put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision to the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. That's, That's right. what he tell us. Yeah. So with God's eyes and ears on us, we should walk accordingly, to be an example for Christ. Every communion Sunday, we make this profession, and many of us don't even realize how serious it is. Huh? Huh? We are citizens of two worlds. We have to demonstrate our behavior in this world, but we are citizens of a far better land. Yeah. Huh? Huh? In this world, we are to, uh, to behave ourselves. Behave yourself in this world. In this world, we are to behave ourselves because we stay focused on the things that God tells us to be focused yes, on. Yes. Uh, in this world, we, we, we have to be able to walk in behavior. Uh, you, 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 you are being seen by God, but also you're being seen by the world in your testimony. Yes. Uh, so who's zooming who? Uh, who watching who? So your, 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 your behavior will reflect negatively mm -hmm. on your faith. If you're not walking according to his word. Amen. So the greatest hindrance to the body of Christ. Is. Is not what we do inside the church. Come on preach. It's what we do. Outside, outside the church. Huh? That's why you look. When they ask to find. The southern brethren. To become deacons. He said don't look in the church. He said look out among you. Because yeah. you look in church. Everybody qualified for being. Come on. Come on. Inside the church, everybody qualifies for a deacon. But if you look what? Outside. What, what does he represent out there? Yeah, His go. character out in the world. I, I know in the church he needs to be a worker, but on the outside is his life oh. in alignment with the word of God. He said that men of what? Good, good report. See, you got to have a good report out there before we can find room for you in him. But we find room for you in him because you come to church and you do all of the things that church folks supposed to do. But on the outside, your testimony. He said, look out among you. See what they look like out there. Talk to the folk in the community. See how they, they're 
a reputation ill in the community. Yes. Then come back and give us a report. That That's what you need to do. He said, God's eyes is on us. He's zooming us each and every day. He's scoping us out. Peter says that, wherefore, rather, brother, give diligence to make your call and election sure that ye do these things that you shall never fail. And so for interest, you shall be ministering to abundantly the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Remember what old Sly said. I go back to Sly and the family stone. Remember what he said. He said, ever stop and think about the downfall happens to at the end of every line. Just when you think you pull the fast one, happens to be the to the foolish all the time. Mm -hmm. Oh, somebody's what? Wow. Watching you. See, we're under microscope. We're zooming in. I'm talking about you got a the world has a microscope. And God has his microscopic eyes on us. Mm -hmm. See, somebody's watching you no matter where you go. Yeah. Huh? I had a, a deacon, his, his wife liked to make uh, uh, rum cake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and rum cake with rum flavor and ain't good rum cake. Mm -hmm. that, that rum, 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 rum cake got to have good rum. So his wife told him, go down to the store and get her some rum. She, he said, I ain't going there. I ain't going, I ain't going there. Any. She said, well, you just bring back some rum. He said, I ain't, I ain't going there. Any. So he rode all the way to Roanoke. He rode all the way to Roanoke to get some rum. And the only thing he had to do, he came by the store, and you know how we take that bottle. You know, somehow, for some reason, we always have to take the paper bag and twist the top. And then, you know, <laughs> He said, Digga, what you doing up here? Somebody knew what? See, see, you cannot escape the eyes of the world. But you also, what? You can't escape the eyes of God. Amen. See, folk looking, but most of all, God is looking, ain't it? Yeah. Uh, and if we are real, we, we don't need to have to worry about anything. But if God's eyes is on us. So he's telling us to make our election sure. sure. And when you think you're being pulled a fast one on, you just need to look around the, the next corner and then check yourself out. Mm -hmm. See, somebody's watching you. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about looking at nobody else, nor to the left, to the right. Mm -hmm. But look what? Look within. Mm -hmm. Look, look and make, a, make it a, a, a concerted evaluation, okay. inventory All right. of your own heart Amen. to make sure that are you living in accordance to the word of God. Mm -hmm. Somebody's watching. Who's who and who, who's watching? The greatest concern is that God is watching. Amen. And God's eyes is on us. Mm -hmm. And we should be concerned about whether we are actually reflecting the personage of God in the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. in the way we live. God is watching. Yes. So let us be careful. Uh, let's not be the negative testimony oh. that the world has said that I decided not to go to church. I decided not to give my life to Christ. Because of them Christians. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Them Christians. Huh. Negative testimony. Goes a long way of turning people away from what? Coming to Christ. Amen. I'm encouraged this morning. Are you? Uh, is there one this morning that is looking to give their life to Christ? And have not made that decision yet? Huh? God's eyes is on you. His love is on you. The word of God said that he loved us while we were still yet sinners. He loves you so much. Only thing you have to do is come saying, Lord, please forgive me of my sins. I accept Jesus, the Christ, as Lord and Savior. Huh? I repent and I turn from my wicked ways. Lord, if you would just receive me now, I'll give my life to you. And when you do that, God, he said that, he sinks your sins in the sea of forgetfulness where it will never rise again. Mm -hmm. That old man is put to death and then you're received as a new man. Huh? He'll give that life to you again. Is that one today? Is that one? Let us bow. Father God, we do thank you, Lord. We thank you for this opportunity. We pray, Lord, that you would have hopefully allowed us to say a word that men, women, boys, and girls will understand the seriousness of our faith. And to understand that our testimony, it, it means so much to the world, but it means so much to you. 
Lord, just go with us and stand by us and we'll surely give your name all praise, glory, and honor. Lord, we don't want to end our prayer without praying for the sick, the shut in, those in our church family. We pray for them, Lord. We don't call them by name, but we ask that you would just realize, Lord, that we know that you know that you would just touch in a mighty way. Lord, we thank you, Lord, and we praise you. Go with us and stand by us. And we thank you, Lord, for another year. This is me praying. Lord, I thank you, Lord, for another year. I thank you, Lord, for another opportunity just to honor and praise you, to glorify your name and give your name all praise, Lord. And Lord, we thank you, Lord, and we praise you. In Christ Jesus' name, let the household of faith say amen. 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 And amen. God bless you, and may heaven ever smile upon you. Hopefully we've been able to say something to encourage you to realize that keep your eyes on Christ, but also realize that God's eyes is on you. Be blessed today. Amen.